guys yesterday we had about a two percent drop in the market you see the big red dildo here that's right and many believed that it had to do with the uk ban but it had nothing to do with the uk ban as that news was already out we're gonna tell you right now exactly what happened for this drop let's get into it What's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bitcoin Daily. I'm so happy you guys are here again. In today's video, we're doing a news recap of what's been going on so far this week. Um, let's get started with the market and what's going on in the market right now. So if we refresh this real quick, um, you can see that uh, Bitcoin's currently at 10,629. So it's pretty much flat the last 24 hours. Um, Ethereum at 338. Uh, it's it's down from uh, yesterday. It was around 350 ish. Um, XRP down one and a half percent. Bitcoin Cash down 2.7 percent. Um, Binance down 2 percent. Polkadot down almost five. Chainlink down four. Litecoin down two and a half. And um, yeah, it's pretty much it on the top. Uh, 10 coins here um, that we're looking at as you guys know yesterday we did have a drop now I saw a lot of people commenting on this and asking me questions about this um, so this is the first thing we're going to cover um, the UK FCA derivatives bans signals disprove uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's, tr let's try this again guys I swear I know how to speak English UK FCA derivatives ban signals disapproval of crypto. So uh, a lot of people were asking me what impact does this have or is this going to have on Bitcoin itself? Um, I don't think it's going to have any uh, long term impact really. Um, this is just for derivatives exchanges basically. Um, that's that's been banned here in the in the US for years now um, it doesn't really matter people find ways around it um, you know so um, either way let's let's jump into the story um, FCA also banned other derivatives such as crypto futures options and CFDs for being ill suited for retail consumers a UK cryptocurrency exchange traded notes provider CoinShares has reacted to Tuesday's data in the United Kingdom. Uh, we are ext extremely disappointed by FCA's decision to include Delta One ETNs in its ban on distribution of crypto derivatives to retail investors in the UK. We and many other industry participants put forward a number of reasons why such a ban would be ill-advised and would not benefit retail investors. Unfortunately, the FCA ignored those reasons or dismissed them with little additional information. All right. So, um... Let me see uh, what else here. Uh, reasons for retail crypto derivatives ban. Besides ETN, FCA also banned other derivatives such as crypto futures, options, CFDs for being ill suited. Um, however, direct crypto trading, which often features milder leverage amplification, will remain open to retail investors as it is not affected by the ban. So here we go. This is the, the very important piece here um, from everybody that was asking me. So let's let's go over this part again. Um, so it, it's banning derivatives such as crypto futures, options and CFDs for being ill suited for retail consumers. However, direct crypto trading, which often features milder leverage amplification, will remain open to retail investors as it is not affected by the ban. So what this is directly affecting is um, leverage sites like BitMEX as, and we saw BitMEX uh, last week get hit by the US as well. Uh, so BitMEX has been has been taking a lot of heat, um, you know, Bybit, Prime XBT, um, anything where there's leverage trading, where you're not actually trading the coin itself. Um, that's what's being banned. Okay, 
Um, so the F FCA stated that they're incredibly volatile, subject to abuse and financial crime since they lack a reliable valuation basis. Furthermore, the regulator added that retail investors have no legitimate investment need for derivatives and retail consumers do not adequately understand crypto assets. So in case you don't know what a retail uh, consumer or a retail investor is, is people like yourself and myself, uh, just the, the average Joe, sort of, sort of speak, um, you know, that we're, we just trade on our own. We trade for ourselves. And, uh, you know, an institutional investor would be someone, you know, banks and stuff like that, companies, funds um, that trade, you know, millions or billions of dollars and for themselves and for other people. Um, so basically, it's trying it's trying to protect retail investors uh, because it says that we don't really understand uh, crypto and how crypto works and how crypto trading works is basically what they're saying. Um, as a measure to save retail consumers from presumably trading losses amounting to almost 62.5 million, the ban is anticipated to take effect on January 6, 2021. All right, so that's that's the main thing here um, for for the FCA's ban that a lot of people were asking me about in the UK. So remember, what what it's going to be affecting is crypt is um it's not going to be affecting direct crypto trading it's just going to be affecting derivative exchanges so um for an example of a derivatives exchange if you go to coin market cap and you hit derivatives and you wait <laughs> um you'll see a list here of different exchanges right um so this is exchanges with the most volume by, uh on bitcoin trading uh binance bitmex bybit Okay, OKX, uh, FTX, Femex, ZBG, OKX again, Deribit, uh, Kraken, Bybit again. Um, so, so that's basically what this is. These exchanges is what's going to be affected. So now it's going to be similar to the U.S. In the U.S., we cannot uh, trade on these exchanges. Um, you know, but like I said, people find ways around it. There's always a way around. So if you really want to trade on there, um, as long as they don't have a KYC, then you'll be you'll be fine. You'll be able to trade. Um, so in other news, BitMEX, right? So last week, so this week we're getting the the UK attacking derivatives exchanges. Last week we got the US uh, hitting uh, BitMEX. Um, so we're here to update you guys on what's going on with BitMEX. BitMEX says it is business as usual, despite a 30% drop in Bitcoin balance after CFTC DOJ action. So uh, after last week's, um, they were basically at all time highs, really. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so they, it had dropped a bit, but after last week's news, there was a 30% drop off in their Bitcoin balance. Um, so one week after the charges were brought by the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission and Department of Justice, nearly 30 percent of BitMEX's Bitcoin balance has been withdrawn by customers. So, I mean, that's natural. Uh, people, they're not sure what's going to happen. There's a lot of uncertainty. Investors don't like uncertainty. So uh, they start pulling out their money. Um, a spokesperson for the derivatives exchange told, told Coindesk that despite the significant withdrawals, it is business as usual for the BitMEX platform. Total Bitcoin held on, Bit, on BitMEX addresses dropped from 192,986 Bitcoin on September 30th to 135,619 Bitcoin on Tuesday, um, a 29.73% decline according to data provided by coin metrics um, aggregate aggregate open interest for bitmex btc futures also took a hit in the past week falling by over 100 million dollars from 732 million on september 30th the fundamentals of the exchange remain strong however according to the spokesperson from bitmex um, so as you guys can see the bitcoin the, the balance again and all that um, so so yeah so Pretty much, uh, people are just, you know, there's uncertainty involved, uh, so they're going to take their money out. Not a big deal. 
uh, BitMEX sizes business as usual. I wouldn't be too worried about it, but if if you have any type of fear, uh, just you can go ahead and, and and withdraw your money out of there for now. Put it somewhere else like Bybit or Prime XBT or something like that until this all blows over. And then if you want, you can go back to using that. Um, and then the last bit of news, as you guys know, yesterday, if we get all these ads out of the way, um, yesterday there was a huge red dildo as like they, they like to call it um bitcoin dropped by 1.83 percent yesterday uh falling basically from 10,800 down to 10,500 um today we have been bouncing back we're back over 10,600 um and the reason for the drop many believed that it had to do with this um, but it had absolutely nothing to do with this guys um, There was this news was already out before that drop uh, this all had to do with Mr. Donald Trump himself um, Bitcoin Trump dumps to 10,500 um, So that was the main thing that happened here Bitcoin was able to hit 10,800 Tuesday before falling on US President Donald Trump's stimulus tweet Meanwhile, the, the DeFi ecosystem, yeah, that doesn't matter. That's not what we're looking for. Um, so, yeah, so we we dropped, you see the, the big drop off right here um, on um, yesterday. Um, and it was, if, as you can read here, Tuesday before falling to as low as 10,528 immediately after President Trump tweeted his rejection of opposite Op opposition lawmakers most recent economic stimulus one thing that is still hanging over this market is a stimulus said Andrew to an executive um, it may take until after the elections for them to reach an agreement which would be really bad for a lot of Americans relying on government aid all right so um, so that's that's the biggest thing that affected that price and that drop off yesterday so it had nothing to do with the UK uh, ban it had all to do with Donald Trump himself um, Making that tweet as you guys know Bitcoin is very correlated right now uh, With the stock market. So the stock market dropped and Bitcoin dropped as well um, That's pretty much it guys. That's all the main news for today uh, and for this week so far um, We will keep you guys updated tomorrow. We'll have another video and the day after another one just like Callis said another one and then after that another one uh, all right guys um please make sure to subscribe guys youtube does not like crypto so you have to subscribe so that you can watch these videos if not you know these videos get shadow banned and all that just because they, they don't like this this information of knowledge getting spread so make sure to hit that uh, make sure to uh, hit the alerts notification. Make sure to like the video and drop a comment. That helps the channel overall. Um, and then last but not least, the question of the day. Um, so today's question of the day is very simple. Are you guys following us on Instagram, on YouTube, and on Twitch? On Twitch. Uh, on twitch.tv we stream live at least once a week make sure to hit the follow on all of those let me know if you guys are following us and what your username is on all of them all right guys uh, make sure to hit that like button we need 30 likes for the free giveaway all righty guys we'll see you guys tomorrow peace love I'm out